Hey, this is Danny from Weird and Wired, and this is a Daisy Rock guitar. This is the Heartbreaker in the wonderfully named finish, Red Hot Red. Now, I picked this up the other day because I have never owned one of these. I've seen them plenty of times, plenty of places. Always been intrigued to find out how much goes into the look, how much goes into the actual playability of these things. And so I did a little bit of research before hitting record on this video and I couldn't find as much as I expected I would. So I'm not sure if these are as widely known as I thought they were, so leave a comment if you've seen it before, if you've never seen it before, if you've played one, if you own one, I'd love to hear all about it. So I'm gonna, I mean it doesn't need a great deal of work, this has been well loved, it's got some, some dings here and there on it. Really all this needs is a new set of strings, a bit of a clean up and a setup, and it should be good to go. And one of the things I did find out doing a little bit of research beforehand was that there are two versions. There is a short scale version and this which is, I believe, comes under the artist banner of the guitars that Daisy Rock makes. This is a full scale version of the heart guitars that you might or might not have seen and it seems like this is meant to be a, a, a step up I guess, a bit more playable. It's got Duncan design pickups in here which was a surprise to me, I wasn't quite expecting that. Um, and I'm already digging the uh, kind of lipstick style neck pickup we got going on. And I mean, aesthetically, of course, this is just a work of art. Love it or hate it, I certainly love it, which is appropriate. So let's, uh, let's get these strings off, give it a clean up, put it back together, see how it sounds. In case you are curious, how comfortable can this body shape be to play? Standing up with a strap, no trouble at all. Sitting down a bit on your lap takes a little bit of getting used to to find that sweet spot to balance it right, but it's no more different than getting used to any other extreme shape guitar that you're not particularly familiar with straight off the bat. Here I'm just dismantling the saddles from the bridge to give it a real good deep clean because it surely needs it. We'll get the saddles in the right position when it comes to intonating the instrument a little later on. I was intrigued to see what was underneath this heart-shaped scratch plate. Was there a big enough cavity to put in a middle pickup? The answer is no, unfortunately, but it's good to know what's underneath if you do have one of these and you want to get a bit crazy with some mods. Here's a little look at the wiring that we've got going on here. No complaints from me on this, it's all tidy work. I would be interested to see how this compares to the short scale versions and find out just how much of an upgrade this version has. There's a pretty deep dip behind the nut just leading into the headstock, especially where the string tree is placed. It's not the easiest to restring around this as everything's quite tightly compacted. But you know what, it's a cool looking shape, it works with the design, so I'm not going to be knocking off any points for that. The fretboard just needed a little bit of a clean up, one fret in particular had a little bit of rust on it, but it was purely cosmetic, doesn't affect the playability of the guitar, and of course we have the awesome love heart inlays to match.
was a relief to find that the bridge had been placed in the correct position when it came to setting this up and intonating it. I do find that there's a lot of guitars that are marketed at beginners or focused heavily on the looks that they miss this and it can make it an absolute headache trying to correct it. So we're cleaned up, we're set up, let's check out these Duncan Design pickups. Heartbreaker guitar in red hot red. This is super cool in my books. For a guitar which you are, you're buying it for the body shape, really, come on, because where else are you gonna get this awesome heart-shaped guitar? But it's not all about the looks. I mean, these pickups are phenomenal. There is some serious bite in the bridge humbucker. Really like the lipstick pick up in the neck position as well as a nice blend of them. The hardware in general is better than I would expect for a guitar that's manufactured, like I say, purely for the cosmetic look. Could you upgrade everything? Of course you could, you could do that with any guitar. Is it a necessity? Absolutely not. It's just straight out of the box, ready to go. I, 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 if I end up keeping this for myself, which I'm very tempted to, I'm gonna keep it stock because it just does what it does, it does what it needs to. And the motto of Daisy Rock Girl Guitars, I absolutely dig what they're going for there. But you know what, I would not hesitate to play any of their wonderfully designed and crafted instruments. 
This one especially, um, I'm thinking wedding band, you got the love theme, keep it once, <laughs> keep it all year round to play it once a day, uh, once a year on Valentine's Day, you know, it's, uh, it's a, it may be a little bit of a niche market or theme bands or anything like that, but you know, it's just one of these really great guitars that brings a smile to my face, other people's faces I'm sure, but let me know if it brings a smile to your face, what you reckon to this guitar, if you've played one, if you've owned one, if you dig it, and until the next time, keep it weird and keep it wired. Mm, weird and wired.